in an orchestra, you're creating something with maybe like 60 people. It's amazing that you're all working toward the same goal. Mm, Mr. French is just like almost a natural comedian. Mrs. French is just pretty good. Have you seen uh, Aristocats? Yeah. Scales and arpeggios. Little cute cats, seen that? Okay. Somebody kept playing every time when Mr. and Mrs. French were speaking and kind of got annoying. And they got caught on, so that was funny. All the time. Mr. French makes jokes all the time. The frantic walk. This is the frantic walk. They know me well, and I know them pretty good. And I just have a fun time with them. I love you. I love you too. Yeah, Go away. I mean, we have these students from 5th grade through 12th grade, which is a really cool thing. It's a bigger city orchestra teacher might only have middle school, but Adam and I have 5th grade, all of middle school, all of high school. This pinky can come on over to the frog. Surely you're a kid person if you're a teacher. Surely. High schoolers call us mom and dad a lot. <laughs> um, some of them are more comfortable talking with us than their parents or their family. Stacy has dwarfism, so we knew that pregnancy or starting our family just might be a little complicated. So we actually, we did that for five years, doing different implants. Um, it was incredibly joyless. I think if we didn't have our students, it could have been more difficult because our students, they become our children as well. Naturally, we started looking into adoption as our next option, and it was all meant to be. During an eighth grade orchestra class, and Adam and I were sitting actually in this very room, I, I saw the phone number uh, from our adoption consultant in Atlanta and I saw the phone number on my watch and I was like well why are they calling why are they calling and I pull Adam Adam he was on the podium and I pulled him off the podium Amazing. well Miss French was crying so the kids thought something was wrong but uh, she just like went in the room started crying and I started crying and eventually we were telling, got able to tell them that, no my mamma did not pass away and that we were going to be parents Right there. Right. We were able to visit and she said what drew her to us was that we were music teachers because the best experiences in her life were in band when she was in high school. No, this is Jimma and Owen and my mommy and daddy and Grady. And that's our what? <coughs> Family. It is. Do we love our family? Mm -hmm. But we've learned how to communicate well with each other from the beginning of teaching together, which was also the beginning of our, our marriage. Um, but going through heavy things together and making big decisions, um, I think we definitely got closer during all. Of it.